everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Um, today, I thought, geez, it's a little loud. <laughs> today, I thought I would show something maybe a little less typical, because um, it just arrived the other day. I ordered it on sale and I had a coupon, so it ended up being a very good deal. And um, so I, I wanted to jump on it and I uh, do people know I'm using up gift cards I get for myself for my credit card points <laughs> um, but if, if people have king size beds they they know how expensive bedding can be um, that was a rude awakening for me <laughs> um, over the years you get older and older your bed gets bigger and bigger and then it just gets more and more expensive and so it's always going to the discount stores like Marshalls or Home Goods or Home Sense or um, Tuesday morning and looking for oh and Steinmart looking for all cotton quilts bedding and it could never find it because usually what happens is you're lucky if you even get the cover of it, the, uh, the exterior fabric, 100% cotton. The fill never is 100% cotton. And I was adamant. I wanted 100% cotton, including the batting. Um, and so I could never find it. And, one, you know, I was even 100% cotton bedding. It wasn't a quilt. Um, it would just be like a cover of some other kind of cover, um, lightweight blanket. That would be 100% cotton, but it would you know, be running me at the discount store $120. Um, so I, when I saw this deal uh, on the Vera Bradley website, I, I jumped on it because it is it is a good deal. It's a king's for king size, 100% cotton, the exterior fabric and the fill and the batting. I mean, unbelievable with my coupon and everything. It was just such such a good deal. Um, I think it was 80 something. I uh, can't remember exactly what it was. And so uh, I just, I knew, you know, I was not, I mean, from, from looking, I knew this was worthwhile. And this is, a, this is Foxwood. I don't know exactly what they're calling it um, on the website, but I feel like they're calling it coconut something. And that's because of the background color, which is sort of this, creamy white. It's not really a true white. It's got a, a very yellow, creamy kind of cast to it, which is fine. Um, but you know, it's it's the pattern, the, the fabric that's used to make the star, the traditional like star motif. That's Foxwood and the Foxwood Menagerie. However, there's a difference um, with that Foxwood Menagerie fabric, which I'll show. But so this is your base, you know, the basic, your traditional quilt motif. And so on the website, the description said it was printed. There was something on there that said printed, like the fabric is printed. And because it was such a good deal, I thought, well, there's no way this is a pieced quilt. It's just one piece of fabric slapped down, and then they stitched, you know, their decorative quilt stitching on top of it to you know keep the batting in place or whatever so I was really surprised that when I got when it got to me that it is a pieced quilt I mean I'm living somewhere that I'm very close to Amish and Mennonite areas um, and like if I, I go out of my house and I drive five minutes west and I'm in the movie witness so <laughs> um, I'm familiar with the beautiful quilting that goes on, the hand quilting, and that stuff is way out of my price range right now. And so I thought, there's no way that it's such a good price. There's no way it's pieced. Um, even though it's machine done, still there's no way it's pieced. But it is. It is a pieced quilt. Um, so I, I was surprised and, and pleased. Um, you can see. Let's see if I can. Oops. My light's not very good today. It is kind of gray here. That's maybe a little bit better. It's gray and rainy here, which was also why I was going to talk about the bag I was going to talk about in a minute if I have time. <laughs> so this is the king size, and it comes with these two king size shams. I mean, really good deal. I'm not sure what the smaller um, size options come with. 
But here's one on a, on my, my sham, you know, on my pillow. It was great. The shams do not have any critters on them. I did not get any critters. And very, very annoyed, really. And this king, king size, oh, oops. <laughs> this entire king size quilt. I did not get any foxes. Not one freaking fox. I mean, unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. So that really pisses me off. I mean, for a minute there, I thought, I'm going to I'm gonna return this. But I used a coupon, and I do have other coupons. Uh, you know, I would have to go through the whole, what a rigmarole, to exchange it when you it's on sale and you've done it with a coupon. And there is one jackrabbit in its entirety. And then I got a ton of chipmunks. So I'm just going to suck it up and deal with it. But that really, that really bothered me. I, I mean, what are the odds? You know, apparently they're pretty good that you're not going to get a fox. Um, so that that was really disappointing. But there's my there's my jackrabbit. Um, so what's nice though, having get getting over my pissed offness <laughs> about that, it is still very very pretty and. What I do like is that they've made use of the trim. Uh, it's that thinner band of trim. I do love the trim in this pattern, in Foxwood. And you see this trim on the 100 handbag, and also, it's a good light. Also on the, um, I did get good light here today. <laughs> it's a little bit better, maybe. Also, you see this on the triple zip hipster, this thinner band of trim. And on my, I have it on my um, double accordion wristlet. There's a bit of it. I just love that, love that trim. Sorry, the light's not super great. Um, you know, on the Vera tote, you get the wider band. But so I like that they're making use of that element here, along with the main fabric and the lining fabric, although there is a difference with the lining fabric I will talk about. And then it's bordered by this sort of piece of gray denim type. Uh, it's not really denim. It almost feels like a chambray or something. Um, see if I can hold it up. Whoops. Hold up a little bit so people get an idea. of. But it's, you know, it's that traditional There we go. <laughs> Traditional, you know, sort of star motif kind of quilt. <laughs> go. There we go. That's not at all awkward and uncomfortable. <laughs> um, very pretty. So I'll, I'll get over my uh, lack of foxes. I'll just look at my bags. <laughs> or at least I have some control over whether I have foxes or not. And so what I also liked about this was the idea, I mean, they don't, I don't think on the website they're touting this as reversible. It does have this tag here, which, you know, uh, I'm considering cutting off because depending on where it is, um, maybe I could tuck it in so it doesn't show. But I was thinking I might like to, to use this reverse as a reversible item and sometimes have this be the, the top side. Um, just to change it up because I do love Foxwood Menagerie. Of course, what's so sweet about Foxwood Menagerie, as everybody knows, is what is on the back of here. Maybe easier to show on the sham. It's on the back of the sham as well, but there are no critters. So it's just the foliage uh, part of the pattern. So that's a little disappointing. Um, I'm not sure why they did that. But I did have here. This is the fox with the critters. You can see them there. You know, the rabbit and the fox, and the chipmunk and um, birds. There were some birds there. So that's kind of a bummer. Why I don't know why they did that. Disappointed in that. Um, 
But anyway, that's that, and I there must be a tag somewhere. I'd like to see what the washing instruction is on this. Oh, machine wash, cold water, gentle cycle, no bleach, tumble dry, low. So again, I really do think it's a it's a great deal. Lack of foxes aside. Oh, and I did notice. I, I don't know if it'll come out. It might not come out with the light problems with the light that I'm having here, but it does look a little muted. The color palette looks a little softer. It's the same colors, but it just looks a little bit softer. Sham doesn't really have a. There we go. I'm trying to get an area with the same kind of flower. So here in this corner, whoop, there. If you look at that, whoop. yeah, it's it's hard to see here. Um, my light is not cooperating, but there's something almost faded looking about this. I mean, it's intentional. It, it's definitely intentional, um, but it has a a, a more muted look than the foxwood bags which that fabric is definitely more vibrant so that, I, I think that's kind of nice because I was a little concerned about that uh, when I was ordering this gee am I really gonna like that in my bedroom but it's really subdued it, so I, I'm, very, I'm pleased with it so I think that's very pretty and a uh, good all turn it when I want to switch out or I'm washing one thing. And so the other thing, because it is gray and rainy here, um, when I run out, if I have to run out, I notice there are a lot of little threads. Some of them are just coming off, but some of them are still attached. I might just go over this and trim them off. Um, I thought I would talk about something I hadn't talked about, which is performance twill. Um, you know, I, I've always said that for me, the point of Vera are the patterns. Um, and so it's never really big into the microfiber. I don't have any microfiber except the ones that are embroidered with the butterfly. But, and I also have always said, if people have seen some of my videos, trying to get, I want to get them sort of lined up next to each other, that um, I'm not crazy about the, the cotton glenna satchel. This is it. Um, for a number of reasons, don't like the pleather on the strap because I feel like it makes the strap too slippery, it slips off my shoulder. I also just don't like the look of it. I think it looks cheesy. Um, I don't I'm not crazy about the blousey look of it. It's a little too precious, a little too feminine for me. And so what's creating that look, I feel like, are these pull ties on the side, right, that gives you that sort of round look. But then it's also got these folds here. They're on both sides. So that's really creating this kind of girly, uh, poofy look for me. I'm not crazy about it. However, when I saw the performance tool version, I, I started to look at the differences. And um, I haven't used this one yet. I've been using my one in black, but I thought it, with the light might be hard to see. So um, the first thing you probably can tell is the quilting is different. These are what I'm calling macro squares. I don't know officially what they call them, but as a micro square, macro square quilting versus a micro square that you see in like the Hadley line, which is, you know, no, no longer really. But you can see the difference here between the signature cotton quilting square size. I love this exaggerated square. Um, I know there was like a bubble tote, I think. I don't know if that's exactly what it was called, puffy tote or something maybe it was called. A, a, a while ago that had these bigger squares and I like that sort of futuristic look. 
And so that appealed to me. Um, but then I started to notice, and that, that is just called black. This is called tranquil gray. I started to notice things that were different, like the strap continues, you know, is continued down the body of the bag. Um, and, and so because they're doing that, they've done away with those folds. The folds that are there, they're not here. I think that just makes for a sleeker look. And it works well with the feel of this, because the feel of this is, it's got a nice hand feel. It's, it's very sleek and smooth feeling. It feels good. Um, to me, I, I don't feel any difference between this and Midtown, so I, I don't know. Uh, they're claiming there's some fabrication difference, I'm sure, but I don't know what it is. For me, it's, it's comparable to that. Um, so I really liked that, because then, and again, straps, no pleather on either side of the straps. Big selling point for me. And these are sort of have a little padding in them, and you can see there's this uh, there's stitching on there. So then, the gathering that you get with those pull ties on the side, that's just enough. That's the bit of feminine okay, that, that is nice without all the other stuff. And you can see even the top is not curved. This slip pocket opening straight across. The top is more straight across. You know, here, this is a real dip. Never was crazy about that. And this is even dipped here. This, I think, was, um, I just measured them. I think this was 10 top to bottom, whereas this is 11. So just a little bit higher, but everything else is the same. It was about 14 and a half, I think, this way. The base is the same kind of round base. It was about 9 by 5. The strap drop was the same. I think it was 11, let me see. It's a good strap drop for me. That's the one thing that always keeps the Glenna sort of in the back of my mind is that strap drop it makes it hit on my body at a, a place that's comfortable, like my, where my waist curves. Yeah, it's about 11 inch strap drop. So ex exterior feature wise is pretty much the same. You got these slip pockets and you've got this one vertical on the front hidden uh, zipper pocket. And the top is on this on this one it was the plastic zipper, so that's good that there was was never that yucky metal zipper. But what they've used here is that uh, plastic soft silver tone zipper that they were using to replace those metal zippers, and that's what you've got here. So that's nice. I like this zipper a lot. So, I mean, I've got all my typical stuff in here. Uh, I might switch out my GPS to a smaller pouch, but my full-size GPS pouch is in there. So it just looks like a, a mess of, a mess of a mosh pit of patterns in there. But I did want to empty it out just to show one difference in the interior features and also show the um, pattern of this lining is so pretty. Oh, but I should put them on first before I do that. I might as well show it filled up so people can see and see how they both look. So they're both I'm hitting about the same. This one actually looks like it's a little bit longer at the bottom. Uh, this one. I don't know if that's because I have it weighted with some heavy stuff. Might be. Maybe the strap drop is just slightly different. So, I mean, I think this just looks so much sleeker without those gathers. I, I just think it looks, it just makes a world of difference to me. And I do like this color gray. I think this kind of a, a subtle, soft gray is, is very elegant. Um, I, I would be open for some patterns in this, but I don't like the current 
uh, paisley pattern that they have that performs tulin and the one that's coming out in spring which is sort of like this delicate floral with a thin uh, stripe behind it it's not doing it for me at all too traditional i think for me so not not enough visual interest on that pattern for me but the that, that dark paisley that they have right now I don't like it all to me it looks like reminds me of toiletry bags my mom used to have that might be why it's a ribbon little tie it's all my stuff the double accordion wristlet here you can see the trim that I was talking about that's on the quilt so very pretty trim on this pattern I think it's hard to resist for, for me it's hard to resist the trim which is why I ended up with a large Vera tote <laughs> uh, Carson cell phone crossbody that I just use in my bag for my cell phone GPS pouch iPad mini tissues in a slip pocket uh, charger cord pouch and my photos in various ID cases and here let's see if I can here you can really see that lining now this I, I I'm sure some if people were ordering stuff when they were uh, leading up to the release of this of the new performance twill they were sending around these samples if you bought something in, in, over in the mail um, they were sending out these maybe you got them in the store too they were giving them away in the store probably these samples showing this the performance tool with the lining and this is that lining and it's so pretty it really is just I think elegant feminine but not be not saccharine very pretty no critters so that's okay <laughs> we'll pretend that's okay so I won't wall the bag as in the uh, the, the cotton glenna that zipper pocket on one wall soft zipper and then you've got instead of three there are three slip pockets on the other wall in this bag here you have two fairly wide one and a narrower one and then over here instead of a third slip pocket you have these two uh, sections for pens going to show up in this light it's probably you can't really see it in this light but it's in there <laughs> yeah and there are two two of them I don't think I'll ever be I don't know maybe I might use that there's two of them I don't know if I'll ever use that my fear with carrying pens around in my bag is that they're going to leak in some way and, and stain the lining. So uh, that's why I'm always hesitating. But I don't know, maybe this is retractable. Just a TD Bank pen. Love the TD Bank pens. God, they write so great. <laughs> I have a gazillion of them. <laughs> um, so, anyway, that's that. Still blousey in here. So again, not 100% crazy about that. That was one of my other issues with the um, the Cotton Vera uh, Glenna satchel. But because they've some of the other features that bug me have are not present on this bag, I will sort of tolerate that. And this lining is so pretty. It's not cottony. It's like the nylon though. So it is that noisier, slicker fabric. People should be aware. I haven't, I have taken, not this one, the black one, I have taken out in, you know, drizzly weather and uh, no problem, but I haven't ever gotten drenched carrying any of my bags. But it's not something that I, honestly was ever a concern for me because it's cotton fabric. I don't, you know, dries. I mean, I put these bags in the washing machine. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not really worried about rain, uh, but... Uh, you know, it was, I had it out in drizzly weather and it was fine. So I'll just shove everything back in here for one last look. 
But I, I'm pleased with it. I really love the feel of it. I can see why a lot of people are saying, well, they're, just, they're only going to get performance tool now. They just like the feel of it so much. But it is very limited right now as far as color and colors and patterns. So I'm sure they're, they're not going to go all out. I mean, unless it starts really, really selling well, maybe. I don't know. It is a little bit more expensive. I mean, like I said, these were on sale and I had coupons, so it's very discounted. <laughs> but there it is, the Tranquil Gray Glenna Satchel. It is still called the Glenna Satchel. Soft bottom, not removable. I don't think this is machine washable. I would look on the website because I would not just throw this fabric in the washing machine. I don't know if they recommend spot cleaning or what. If it's not machine washable, that's kind of ironic. <laughs> Seeing as this is supposed to be, you know, your fabric for weather, you would think that it's machine washable. And if anyone has washed theirs, um, leave me a comment. I'd be curious to see what you've done and how, how it turned out. But anyway, that was my, that's the Vera Bradley bag of the day bag. The Performance Twill Glenna Satchel and my Foxwood king size quilt set with no foxes anywhere on it. <laughs> um, but still, still pretty. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.